welcome back with another video in today's video we have an hp pavilion laptop this one is hp pavilion 15-p010 and in this video i'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can access to the rams and how you can op remove or upgrade the ram from these laptops and these are kind of um, pretty disappointed from my hp by doing a uh, really bad design on the casing but the rams are right over here they could have give you simply like any other hp or lenovo laptops through the tiny cover to remove and access the rams which are right in here but no they don't want it to they don't like people upgrading their laptop so they remove the covers in here i made a really short video how to remove your uh, how to check your ram capacity if you want to know your maximum ram capacity check the video link in the uh, video description it's a short video to check how much ram you can have on your laptop but in this video i'm just gonna go how to open it up and how to remove it you can upgrade it up to 18 16 gig on this one we have upgraded to a 16 gig for a few other clients but in this case this laptop has two eight there's only two ram slots in here all right to get into them it's going to be really opening up pretty much everything so grab yourself a good screwdriver set i picked the screwdriver set and from this tool set we're going to be using a phillips number zero and number one if you get a pro set they include you with an opening tool if not grab yourself a guitar pick a metal guitar pick are suitable to opening cases and covers a plastic spatula is good to have now with all this on hand we're going to get it started first thing first you want to remove the rubber covers in here put the opening to underneath and lift it up it should have a lot of adhesive tape if yours doesn't have adhesive tape and get a double-sided tape and put it on some guy open it up and put a super glue don't put a super glue on these things they're not meant for super glue same thing in here open it up see i have an adhesive already in here all right we're going to remove the screws on these covers first so one and then lift up the cover bring it up remove the one on this side these are tiny screws lift it up put it to one side there's a screw right under the battery right here and the screws right under the covers right in here now all the screws are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them and just remove all of them and keep them in a single pile also if you guys like my videos if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Appreciate that. Let me remove all the screws. I was missing one screw here. Oh, by the way, in here, there's a really red, depending on your case color, plastic cover here. You have to use a knife or something to lift up the cover in here. This one is already, they lost it, but doesn't matter. So there's a hidden screw right in here remove that there's nothing under this one so you don't need to remove this one just remove it here it's like a shape and remove the screw pull that pull out the dvd drive pull it out now they're supposed to have three screws in here one two and three but there's only one screw in the middle so i'm guessing somebody lost it switch to a phillips number zero and remove the single screw or all three screws if you have three next what you want to do double check make sure you remove all the screws open up the laptop 45 degree and stick the guitar pick in between the bottom cover and the top palm rest right there and then you just want to twist it you want to hear those big click sounds that's what you want to hear now you want to do this all around on the side all the way to the back corner right there you don't need to go any further just do there there and there's a tiny clip in here you just have to port it up a little bit and it will loosen up do the left and right there we go now you can lift it up bring it up a little bit i'm gonna close up the screen 45 don't yank it there's a flex cable down here so to remove the trackpad put your fingernails at the back lift it up 90 degree and the flex cable is just going to slide backward for the keyboard same thing lift up this cover 90 degree upward 
slide that away, the flex cable. Now there's a flex cable for a backlight keyboard right there, lift it up, slide it back. For power on switch, lift it up, slide it back. And there we have the bottom commerce. All right, we still didn't get to the RAM. I can see this corner of the RAM right there. The RAM is on the other side of the motherboard. So that's even better. So now we're gonna lift up this expansion cover bridge here. Another clip right in here. Another one for the DVD drive. Pull out the connector for the subwoofer. Slide it from the corner. Same thing in here, pinch it from here. Work it around. And you should be able to remove it. Lift up the cover for the LCD. Pull it back. Slide out the other connector beside it. I think that's for a webcam. All right. Now we're going to remove the screw for the Wi Fi board. I don't want to come out, so I'm just going to remove the whole thing. Slide it out. Leave it to one side. Now there's one screw right there. This screw goes underneath. If you have any screw that touches the motherboard, pretty much we're going to remove. So one, there should be one in here. I'm missing one. There should be another one here that is missing. And there's one in the corner in here. I'm going to remove. So remove the one that you see in here. Remove the one right here. And remove the one in the corner. And if you have anything over in here, remove that. Nothing in there. One in this corner. So whatever screw, you, you, black screw you see all around in the middle, remove it. And then you want to lift up the board, bring it up. So for the demonstration, because right now I can see the RAM right in here. I can replace it. But if you want to, you can just pull the jack or the power jack backward and it will disconnect. It just goes right there. And the RAM is right in here. All right, to remove the RAM, this is a DDR3 RAM. Has to be a DDR3L. L stands for the low voltage. So you can put an 8 gig and 8 gig for 16 gig. If your max capacity is a 16, you can put an 8 and 8. If yours is an 8, put a 4 and 4. To remove it, you want to put your fingers on side of these triggers, pull them away, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle, and you can re remove it. Sometimes you need to clean the pins. Same thing in here. Pull them away. RAM comes out in 45 degree angle. Again, I'll leave the link for the compatible RAMs. As let's say that you got the new RAMs in, you want to put the bring it down in 45 degree inside the connector, and then push it towards the motherboard, and you're gonna see these triggers open and close automatically. Just like that, make a tiny click sound. So put this one in, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the DIMM in 45 degree angle inside the connector towards the motherboard. And there we have it. So what would it cost them to just cut it and just put a goddamn power in here to be able to access the RAM? But I guess you have to go through a hassle of all this. So I'm gonna push down the connector for the power jack right there. I'm going to lay down the motherboard right in there. Make sure all the cables go on top. I'm going to grab my tweezers because I cannot reach this audio cable that is underneath. There we go. Okay. Now everything is sitting down nicely. Connect the jack for the LCD. Open up the connector. Push down the flex cable for the LCD all the way inside the connector. Lock it down. Speaker cable. Grab the Wi Fi, make sure it goes in. Has to be like a springy like that. Put this screw for the Wi-Fi. And put the rest of the screw on the motherboard, wherever you see the screw hole. I only I'm missing the screws in here, but I'm just gonna put all around it. 
If you're missing a screw, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal or anything. The motherboard is just to prevent it from moving around, and with two screws, it's not gonna go anywhere. So put the connector, slide it down. Just make sure the connectors are not damaged too. All right, and put it down there. Put the bridge. Connect the hard drive connector right in there. All right, you can test the RAMs in here before putting up the whole thing because sometimes if you put the RAMs in, you power on, it still doesn't power on. You might want to open up and re switch the places for the RAM in order to for motherboard to detect it. So in order to not go through the whole hassle, just disconnect the hard drive. So you don't want to power on, power down the hard drive. Leave it disconnected. You can plug in the charger in. Once the charger in is connected, charger light is turning on. And I connected the side panel here so I can see the LED for power on. You can grab a tweezers, metal tweezers, and what you want to do, you want to shorten the pins on the back here on the connector. Just randomly short it out. And you see it did power on. And so I'm gonna see it is powering it on. I can see the whole BIOS. I don't have a keyboard, you can plug in what's called a USB keyboard and F10, go to the BIOS and check it out. But in this case, a boot device is not found because I don't have the hard drive plugged in. But as long as you get the screen, that means the RAM is working properly. If any of the RAM doesn't work, it will not boot up. Anyway, so I'm just going to power it off. Just pull, on, pull, pull back the plug and plug in the hard drive. There we go. Now, you want to grab the palm rest. Bring down the palm rest in 45 degree angle, or maybe less. Now, first you want to open up the lock in here. Okay, this one is on my way. I want you guys to be able to see it. So I'm gonna slide down the power switch from here. Inside the connector, be gentle with them and lock it down. Same thing in here, open up the lock for backlight keyboard and slide it in there, lock it down, close a little more, all the way down to 45 degree or less. Open up the lock for here, for the trackpad, slide from the back end towards the connector. Make sure it's evenly, otherwise it's not gonna work, have to go. Nicely 45, open up the lock for the keyboard. Slide down the keyboard, flex cable inside there and lock it down. And pretty much we are done. Just bring down the palm rest and you want to pinch it and you want to hear those click sounds. Open up a little bit, pinch the corner, the sides, go to the back corner right in here, right at the back, pinch by the cases. And you're pretty much done. Close it down. If you see any gap, just want to pinch it. So pretty much what we're going to do down here is to put the screws, two long screws, one on each corner on the back. And then you want to grab this covers, bring it down in 45 degree inside there, and put one tiny screw right on top of it. And same thing here, Got the tiny screw. And if yours is not sticky, grab a double sided tape, don't put super glue. And the three or single screw right under the DVD drive. Slide the DVD drive, switch to a Phillips number one. And now to finish up, just put the rest of the screw on the bottom cover, the one on the battery, don't forget that one. And that should cover up today's video, and this is how you upgrade the RAM for UHP Pavilion 15-P010. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screw.